please stick out your left hand. RFID marker injected under the skin. We all have them. Yours will give you unrestricted access to the base. Main elevator security access granted. As unlikely as cutting off a man's hand to access his RFID chip. Peter gave himself up. They have no sex organs. Makes control easier. Got an ex-husband, I wouldn't mind trying that on. We designed a way to inhibit the signaling pathway responsible for genitalia. Where are the monkeys? We don't have any monkeys. <sighs> Kidding, right? With the kind of work you're doing here? No monkeys means no monkeys. These are the other two victims that were found with Peter. Open the bag. What the hell? I want to seal off this part of the base. All non-essential personnel, keep them in dedicated safe rooms. Nobody travels unless they travel with a partner. Wait, there's more. Hello? 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 This mutation only occurs in a fraction of the samples. It's minimal, but it's statistically relevant. Oh my god. We thought it was just replicating, but there's something else. These germ docs over at Fort Detrick talking about using viruses to move DNA around. Gene delivery vehicles? But what's it doing to him? For lack of a better term, it's changing him. Into what? Yeah, that was it. What if this virus is acting like a freight train pulling some weird ass DNA behind it? Someone designed this virus. Never seen this combination before. What's the message? Can you tell what they designed us to do? No. But I can find out. I'm looking at the hand of man here. Proteins specifically designed to bind the virus to specific cells so it can deliver its genetic message. And there's some other monkey business I think Dr. Farragut would like to hear about. She's in the advanced stages, but got her tranked up on monkey juice. Took me a long damn time to haul her ass up here. People aren't showing symptoms yet. How do we know who's infected? We'll need a test. But first, we need to synthesize a pure sample of the virus. Both viruses. Something uh, we can administer quickly. A rapid response test would be the fastest. Neither Narvik A nor B show up as a pathogen in any existing database. Another false positive. <sighs> Me too. I've gone through all the atypical enzymes. The Sarjo treatment has never been tested on human beings. Not once. I wish we had time for testing, but we don't. That doesn't mean it won't work. It's a universal antiviral. Killing a human being with an untested treatment, it's unconscionable. It's unlikely that the patient will regain consciousness or be able to maintain his own life without the ventilator. People who design this virus want to change us. This scares the crap out of me. There's some trait that they want us to manifest. And this disease is a way to force it in. On the inside out. I mean, I mean, I'll be perfect, but I like what I am. We're not infected yet. Stop whoever's doing this before they cause any real damage. This place is a, it's a time bomb waiting to go off and we're pretending this things are gonna save us.